Hey, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a pop-up or basically any other custom element to the thank you page on your Oxygen WooCommerce site. Now, the thank you page is shown after an order is complete, and sometimes folks might want to add a pop-up with like a discount code or something like that to incentivize buyers to shop more or whatever the case may be, and we can do that with Oxygen in a custom condition. So... The first thing we're going to need to have is the code snippets plugin, which I already have installed here. And then we're going to need to set up a custom condition. So let's jump over to snippets and I'll walk you through this condition that I've already set up. Note that this condition will be available in the video description. So you don't have to write this code. You'll just need to copy and paste it into code snippets. So first we're checking if the function exists, the oxygen VSB register condition. This is just so that we don't fire any code that's dependent on oxygen when oxygen's not there. And then we register our condition. The condition is called is thank you page and the options are just true. We don't need any other options because we're just checking if this is the thank you page. We're not allowing a custom option and our operator will just be a double equal sign. And then we have the name of our callback function. And then we're putting this under a category called WUCO in the conditions dropdown. So then right below that on line five, we define the function is thank you callback. And in here, all we're doing is checking if we're on the checkout page and that the WooCommerce endpoint URL order dash received is not empty. And if those both are satisfied, then we return true and the condition uh, is met. And whatever we apply the condition to will be displayed uh, in that scenario. So then to use this, all we need to do is go to pages and find the page that's uh, designated as our checkout page. And we're gonna edit that with oxygen. And here we are on the checkout page and we've got our normal checkout element but we want a pop-up on this page. So we're going to add a modal and just drop that in, but we don't wanna show it on the normal checkout page. So that's where our condition comes in. So select the modal, go up to conditions, click set conditions, add a condition. We're gonna scroll all the way down. In this case, our WUCO category is all the way at the bottom. Is thank you page equals true and then we'll just close that out. So now this modal should only be shown when we're on the actual thank you page after a purchase is complete. So now what we can do is style this up. So let's go ahead and let's make this modal a full width modal and maybe full viewport height. So we'll go to modal styles, set the width to 100% and then advanced size and spacing and set the height to 100 VH. Perfect, now let's add a couple of columns here. So we'll drop in a columns element. Let's do 50-50. And then on the columns element itself, we wanna to go to advanced size and spacing and set the height to 100%. Now what I wanna do in this case is I wanna offer like a discount code or something similar to that uh, to incentivize the buyer to go back and shop some more soon. And so on the right hand side, I'm just going to add a background image or something. So let's go to background and see what's on this install. And none of these are very good. So let's upload a new background image. I'm just going to grab a Pexels file here, open that up. Let's go ahead and select image. That looks pretty cool. And then let's just center that on the left. We'll set it to 50%. There we go. So now it's a little bit centered. This looks pretty nice. Now we can go to the left div. Let's go to advanced size and spacing and add like 32 pixels all the way around, maybe 64 top and bottom of padding here. And then let's drop in a heading. We'll make this an H2. And we'll say, thanks for being a customer. And then we're gonna add a special div. Uh, and this is gonna be our discount code div. And we're gonna make this look like a coupon with like a dashed uh, border. So advanced borders, we're going to do dashed. We're going to set the color to this uh, global color here. We'll set the width to maybe one pixel. And then we'll set the border radius to something like 16 pixels to give it a nice rounded look. Then let's drop in a text element here and we're going to just make up a discount code. And then we'll go back to this div and we'll add some padding. So we'll do maybe 16 pixels all the way around. And then we'll go to advanced typography and adjust the typography, uppercase, one pixel letter spacing, 
We can change the font family to make it stand out a little bit. Awesome, now we have our discount code displayed and actually I wanna change the, uh, the typography size here. Let's go to advanced typography. Let's just bump that up to like 24 pixels. Or maybe not that high, maybe 18. There we go. Now let's add a text element and just say, use this code next time you shop for 100% off your order. Awesome. We're making sure that we have a lot of exclamation points here to imply enthusiasm, definitely. And if you really want to be very enthusiastic, you can add, you know, seven to 10 exclamation points after each line. The next thing we'll want to do is add a button. So let's just add a button here and we're going to change the background color to this global color here. And we're going to say shop now. And then of course, button hover color, we're gonna change to something else so that our text doesn't disappear. There we go. Now let's just um, align everything here. We want it all kind of in the center, but we do want it left aligned here uh, on the horizontal axis. Maybe, maybe it would look better centered. So let's try that. Now that looks pretty good. Now let's add some margin. So let's just do, to save ourselves some work, we'll do top and bottom margin on this element. So we'll do uh, eight pixels above. Uh, 16 pixels below and then on this one we will do advanced size and spacing we'll do 32 pixels so now we have this pop-up that is going to show uh, on the checkout page and because the condition that we've used it should only show on the actual thank you page after the checkout's complete let's go back to modal and let's adjust our trigger here uh, to be a little bit faster let's do like two seconds. And then for this particular case, I'm going to leave it on show again on every page load because this page isn't something people are going to go to every day necessarily. So it's okay to keep it as a fairly persistent uh, pop-up. But if it was on your homepage, definitely use one of these other options to uh, uh, make it show after a number of days so that people aren't constantly getting attacked by this pop-up. So finally, what we actually need to do is add an exit button because this is a full screen pop-up. We're gonna go in here and set the modal to advanced layout relative. And then we're gonna add an icon. And we're gonna make this icon an outline icon. And let's go over to advanced layout and set this to position absolute so that we can see what we're doing here. We'll set the top to 16 and the right to 16. Perfect, now the icon's way too big so we can go over here and we can change the icon size, change the space around, get that looking a little bit better. And then let's use a linear icons uh, cross. And that's gonna give us our exit button. And to make it actually close the modal, we just need to add the oxy dash close dash modal uh, class here. So let's add that and let's go test this out. So let's jump over to the front end and we'll go to the shop because we don't have anything in our cart right now. Uh, we'll click add to cart, view cart, proceed to checkout. And note here that we're on the checkout page, but we do not have any pop-ups. That's because we're not yet on the thank you endpoint. And we're going to just type in some nonsense here. Let's pick US. We'll just make up a street address. Fakerton, California, 90210. Phone number is all fives, email address, fake at example.com. That should get us through the checkout. And we can review our order here and then we can go down and click place order. Now we should be on the thank you page and we'll see after about a second, we have our beautiful pop-up that comes up and reminds us that if we shop again, everything's free and we can dismiss it by clicking our icon. So again, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team and that's how to use Oxygen and custom conditions to set up a pop-up for your WooCommerce thank you page. Thank you very much for watching.